<laughs> Thanks. We'll see you in a bit. Well, it is time now to see what's for dinner. And joining us in the CI Living Kitchen is the U of I Extensions, Leia Kedem. Welcome back. Thank you very much. Good to be here. Yeah, Derek's telling us that we need to make these and stay inside tonight instead of going out. Oh, well, we've got to listen to Derek. So. Yes. That's yep. right. All so right. we're going out tonight. So are we making comfort food, warm comfort food today Absolutely. for dinner? Absolutely. Yes, I think that's what the forecast called for. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to make ham and cheese calzones like you were telling him, and we promise we'll save one for him. Now, now, usually when I hear calzone, I think Italian, but ham and cheese sound yeah. American. Yeah, it's kind of a combination of an Italian favorite with an American twist, oh, right? I love that. Okay. You know, it's something we tend to order at restaurants. You know, you don't really think of making calzones at home, but why not? This is super simple. The recipe, um, it can be on your table within 30 minutes or less. Really? What more nice. can you ask for on a busy weeknight, right? Yeah, no kidding. So yes. where do we get started? So we're starting with a tube of refrigerated pizza dough, you know, the kind that's by like the biscuits and stuff. Uh -huh. All right, you unroll it, and we've got it on um, some tin foil here that's Nugget been sprayed. Thin crust or thick crust pizza dough? Does it matter? Um, probably thinner crust is better. At least it's my preference. I don't know. I don't like a whole lot of dough. I, okay. I'm more about the filling. Right. But um, I don't even know if they're if it's said on the tube. I just grabbed oh. the tube. So I was like, hey, that looks good. Refrigerated pizza dough. Okay. Let's go. Um, so we did spray it with um, this, you know, cooking Ham. spray so it doesn't stick. Okay, and what we're gonna do is I cut it in half already with my lovely pizza cutter. And why don't you cut it in half again so we've got four rectangles. Sure, I can do that. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so, okay. what we're gonna do now is put on a little bit of mustard. You know, it's kind of a, you know, it goes along with ham and cheese really yeah. well. And you chose a spicy mustard. Uh, it is spicy mustard, horseradish yeah. mustard. Wow. You know, if you don't like that, or if you're making it with the kids and, you know, they don't like the spicy, then you can use mild, or you can even just leave it out completely if you don't like it. Okay, so we'll just kind of spread that on there, make it even, so you get a little bit of the mustard in every bite, right? All right. And we're doing it kind of like in a triangle fashion. See, on each side, you've we're done like triangles. Yeah, you've done like a third or yes. half of it, but from a triangle point of view. Right, because okay. we're going to fold it over and it's going to be like a triangle. That's okay. the part that I always screw up whenever I have to make anything <laughs> that, that needs yeah. wrapping, is that yeah. I overfill it and then... And you get filling, kind of spilling out. Yeah, yeah, that's my problem is the overfilling, but it's okay. So we've got... Um, cooked cubed ham here and the nice thing about the meat filling is that you can use you know leftover stuff leftover oh, yeah. chicken or if you've got just like sliced deli turkey or anything like that you can you know you can get creative with it Smart. okay and we're just kind of you know dividing it up evenly but again we don't want to overfill um, as much as we can. And then on top, it is ham and cheese, right? Right. So we're using, actually it's over there, some reduced fat provolone <laughs> cheese. Okay. So oh. just, you know, put that on top of the meat. Yeah, just like that. It's a really mild tasting cheese. You know, kids like it, but you can get creative with it again if you like um, like sharp cheddar oh, yeah. or like pepper jack. You get a little more kick if you like. Yeah. And again, so, for the yeah. novices, I want to emphasize she's mm -hmm. just using like the top or half of it. The, the, half the triangle. Yes, exactly. So as you can see here, we're kind of folding it over and then you just pinch the edges to seal it. Okay, and we'll just kind of move it over so we can give them all some room, right? And something to note is calzones can be a little bit high in fat and calories, right? We've got the meat, we've got the cheese, um, a little bit high in sodium too, but you know, I'm kind of an all foods fit person. I'm not gonna cut out my calzones. So what am I gonna do? I'm gonna eat healthier during the rest of the day and serve it with, you know, some vegetables on the side. And yep. it can still yeah. be part of a healthy eating pattern for sure. And, and now, you can do this in 30 minutes or less? Absolutely, yeah. look at this. Once we've done this, put them all together, they go in the oven at 400 degrees for 15 minutes. Oh, that's, that's not it. long at all. Super easy and the kids can help. This is like something that Kids that's always good, with. yeah, involving the kids. Yeah, and they're more likely to eat healthier foods if they're involved. So yeah. I always like to get the kids involved. If I you can. can. Okay, so you're going to stick around. We're yep. going to make this up, and then we'll get to try a little bit later. Absolutely. All right, Leah, thanks so much. If you would like this recipe, you can go to stayliving.tv right now, where we actually have it posted.